let's take a look at the winning probabilities of the players after four rounds of play. Once again, a big thank you to Ben Underwood for get, making these graphics for us. Nasi. Pre-tournament, Fabio was a huge favorite at 21.6%. Look at Purusha as he comes up Somewhere the ranks the though, right? He started in the middle. After round one, he jumped to the first uh, with 19.1%. And Nepo in the second. And, and then it, it, it turned out the probabilities were, were fantastic once Nepo won in round three. Check this out. Whoop! Yeah. <laughs> the, At this and, time, Nepo and Firuja were sharing first. Right. And we were thinking the probabilities <laughs> were, were magic. And, and look at Wesley. Yeah, he's still somewhere in the middle at 7%, but let's right. see after round four, how quickly he jumped to... Oh my goodness. Wow, he's more likely to win than Firuja. Is that right? What a difference uh, a winning Rook and Pawn endgame can do for you. It takes you from 7% to 22%. And again, a big thank you uh, to Ben, our uh, statistician, for pointing these graphics out and uh, making these graphics uh, for us. It's always nice to see how the uh, victories uh, change the probability.